Hey everybody, Mr. Mathlog here, and this lesson is going to get you ready for your upcoming test on Chapter 6. And so this one was uh, Understanding Division. Don't forget all your lessons can be found at, at www.mrmathlog.com. Okay, I'm doing a little experiment. I'm putting this uh, in the beginning. I usually put this at the end. So if you find these videos are helping, I'd appreciate it if you could press like. And if they don't help, then press dislike. Okay, and then uh, if you feel inclined to, go ahead and subscribe. Okay. Here we go. So for numbers uh, 1a through 1d, we're going to answer these as true or false. Okay. So this came out of the last lesson, uh, section 6.9, I believe. And so when we had like 4 divided by 4, a number divided by itself, or if we have 0 divided by a number, uh, here's another number divided by itself, 6 divided by 6, and here's a number divided by 1. We came up with these four rules right here. The first rule was any number divided by 1 equals that number. So 7 divided by 1 equals 7. This one's true right here. Any number except 0 divided by itself equals 1. So 6 divided by 6 equals 1. That's true. 4 divided by 4, that equals 1, not 4. This one's false right here. And then this one says uh, 0 divided by any number. So 0 divided by any number equals 0. That's true. So let's go through. That, uh, that one's false. 4 divided by 4 equals 1. Uh, we found that one to be true, that one to be true, and that one to be true. Okay, You can't divide by 0, so we'd never have a 0 in this position right there. Okay, if you divide by zero, it ends up being infinity, and so that's a whole another topic in a much higher math class. So anyway, so um, let's make an array, and then we'll uh, write a division equation. Okay, so this one says 30 tiles in six rows. So I'm going to do 30 tiles in six rows. So I'll do one, two, three, four, five, six. So there would be my six rows, and I'll do another six going down, another six going down, another six going down. So here's 30 tiles. Whoops, I'm sorry. Um, so uh, rows go across, columns go up and down. That's what I was doing right there. So 30 tiles and six rows is going to look like this. Okay, here's row one, row two, row three, row four, row five, row six. Okay, this is a row going like this. Okay, so there's 30 tiles and six rows. And look in each row. There's five in each row right there. So it says then write a division equation. So we'll just say 30 divided by 6 equals 5. Okay, let's try another one of these, you guys. Okay, this one's going to be uh, 18 counters in three rows. Okay, so uh, we'll just do counters, 1, 2, 3, and then do another 4, 5, 6, and then another 7, 8, 9, because we're doing them in three rows right here. So there they are in three rows. So it looks like we have 6 in each row, so our division equation would be 18 divided by 3 equals 6, okay? All right, uh, Mark spent 24 minutes walking around the track. It took him 3 minutes to walk each time around the track. How many times did Mark walk around each track? Okay, and it looks like we have 24 counters right here, 24 tiles. I suppose that represents the 24 minutes right here. And then it says, make equal groups to model this problem. Okay, so then explain how we're going to solve this problem. Okay, now, we, it took 24 minutes to walk around the track, and it took him three, I'm sorry, Mark spent 24 minutes walking around the track, and it took him three minutes to walk uh, around the track one time. So, so how many times? This one is a division problem. This one is 24 divided by 3. So I'm going to rearrange these 24 in rows of 3. So make these 24 tiles in rows of 3s. So what I did was is I just started, since this is a row of 3 right here, I just started pulling all of these over here and just made rows of 3s. Okay, so there's a row of 3, there's a row of 3 and so on. So there's a row of three right there and then I just took these three and put those right over there and so that gave me this picture right there. Okay, so there's uh, uh, three rows right there. This row, this row, this row, and so it looks like we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's still 24 tiles there, so it still would be 24 minutes right there. So those eight, um, those eight uh, columns are eight in each row. Uh, there's eight tiles in each of the three rows, so 24 divided by 3 equals 8. So Mark will walk around the track eight times. Okay, so they said they gave you those tiles to rearrange them right there. Okay, so here, select the equation that represents this array and mark all that apply. Okay, it looks like we have three rows 
uh, one, two, three, four, five. So these are three rows of five. So three times five would represent this. That one works okay. How about this one? Two times. Now it's nothing with the two times right there. Uh, and then let's see, three and five. So here's five in this one, five in this one, five in this one. So there's 15 right there. So, so it looks like it's going to be uh, the related numbers, the related facts are three, five, and 15. So this one has a three and a five. This one has a 5 and a 15. It's not this one because of the 12. It's not this one because of the 12. This one could be this one, 3 and 5, and this one could be this one. So it said uh, mark check marks to all the ones. So here we have three rows of 5 making 15. So all of those are the ones that fit this problem right there. And 3 times 5 equals 15, and 5 times 3 equals 15, and here 15 divided by 3 equals 5, and 15 divided by 5 equals 3. These are all related facts right there, okay? All right, so uh, complete the related facts. Okay, so look on that. Let's do number six. Let's deal with number six over here. We have four times seven, and these are all related. So seven times blank equals 28. So four times seven, this must be 28 right here. And then so what's the missing number with this? This one should be four. Okay, 28 divided by blank equals four. Well, it's going to be the seven, the missing seven. 28 divided by seven equals uh, blank, so it's going to be the missing four. So you just put in all those missing numbers right there. Okay, over here on this one, we have seven times blank equals 42. Well, we can probably find out this blank in the other one. Here we have blank divided by seven. Okay, so there's a 7 equals 6, so that's the missing number right there. 7 times 6 equals 42. Okay, so 7 times 6 equals 42. That's what this says up here. And then 42 divided by blank, which is going to be 6 equals 7 right there. Okay, all right, so those are all related facts. <clears throat> okay, excuse me. There are 28 days in February this year. Each week is 7 days. How long, how long in weeks is February? Okay, so so they give us a picture here, and we're supposed to, uh, part A says, draw jumps on the number line to model this problem. Okay, so we are doing 28 divided by 7. Okay, so what we're going to do is do jumps of 7. So we're going to jump back 7, and then we'll write a, a division equation to represent this. Okay, so here we go. Uh, jumps of 7, so if we go back 7, 28 minus 7 is 21, so this 1 represents 1 jump, and we want to know how long will it take us to get to 0, okay? So here's 2 jumps. I did these next two together, so there's 3 and 4 jumps, so it took us 4 jumps of 7 to get back to 0, so our division equation is going to be 28 divided by 7 equals 4, so how long in weeks? It's going to take 4 weeks, that's how long February is. Sometimes February is 29 days. But uh, this past year, it was 28 days. Okay. Oops, you can hear my fire popping in the background. It's, uh, it's in December right now. It's cold, so I have a fire going. Stefan uh, has 27 apples uh, packed in three baskets with the same number of apples in each basket. How many apples are in each basket? Okay, so if we have 27 apples, what I did is I represented it by uh, counters. This is 27 divided by 3. So I did counters right there. I did three rows. Three rows, and then so... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and then finally I get to 27, so this would be uh, 25, 26, 27 right there, okay? So, um, so 27 divided by these three rows gives us this 9 right here. 27 divided by 3 equals 9, so the answer is C, okay? Whoops, I didn't circle that. So it's C on this one right there, okay? Let's see, I'll circle that right now. All right, so there's the answer right there. Kind of hard to do it fast. Okay. All right, so a pet shop has 18 hamsters. They sold 10 and put the remaining hamsters into four cages. How many hamsters are in each cage? Okay, and they put them equally into the four cages. So, okay, so after they sold 10 hamsters, then there would be 18 minus 10 hamsters left to put in the four cages. And 18 minus 10 is 8. So we have 8 uh, hamsters that are going to go into the 4 cages. So 8 hamsters uh, means that there's going to be 2 per cage because 2 times 4 is uh, 8. Okay, 
2 times 4 is 8, or 8 divided by 4 equals 2, okay? Because we're taking it, putting them into the four cages. Okay, Bobby drew this array. Write the related facts that represent this array. Okay, so it looks like I have, uh, there's two, two rows, and then each row, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, okay? So 2 times 6, and it looks like there's 12, so anything that deals with 2, 6, and 12, 2 times 6 equals 12, okay? And then all the rest of them, 6 times 2 equals 12, and then 12 divided by 2 equals 6, and 12 divided by 6 equals 2. Those are all related facts represented in that. Okay, a couple more things here. So which of the following multiplication equation can be used to find 42 divided by 6? Okay, uh, how about this? 7 times 7 equals 49. No, these aren't even in there. I need a 6 and a 40. Uh, I need either uh, the numbers 6, 7, or 42. So this one won't be it because of the 8. This one won't be it because of the 8 and the 5. This one's it. 6 times 7 equals 42. Okay, so 42 divided by 6 would equal, um, would equal this 7 right here. So uh, which one would make this uh, help us find this division equation? Uh, uh, choice D. That should be a D right there, by golly. And I bet you it's not D on the other one. Uh, let me fix that. That should be a D. Sorry about that. Okay, so, um, uh, so it's choice D. Okay, let me fix that guy too. There we go. Okay, so choice D, okay? All right, uh, one more, you guys. Let's try this. So uh, use the numbers to write a related multiplication and division facts. Okay, so somehow these numbers are related to each other. So it looks like uh, the two small numbers, if we multiply them, will give us this big number. So 5 times 9 equals 45, so, or 9 times 5 also equals 45. And then the division ones after that. So 45 divided by this number equals this number. 45 divided by this number equals this number. So there's all the related facts. Okay? Hey, good luck on your test, you guys. Take care.